Welcome to Fan Package. <laughs> On today's episode, we have a package from Kentucky Brew Reviews. That's Special K, Fuzzy, Radar, and Steel Reserve. How you doing, guys? Enjoy the channel. Go check them out in the link in the description. I've done some weird things with Special K. <laughs> Moving on, uh, they sent us today a couple of beers to try out, including Cougar Bait, American Blonde Ale, and Nacho Bait, Habanero Blonde Ale. Nacho! And these are all, there's, these are both from uh, Country Broy Brewin, which Country, they, Country Brew? Boy. Country Broy Brewin, <laughs> which they also sent us these cool stickers, so these are going to go right over it uh, on our... They also sent us these. Yeah! They sent us uh, a couple little friends for the booze box, which that's exactly where they're going. We might even end up drinking them tonight, you never know. We booze won't. box fodder! And they happen to mention they're friends of the brewery, so hopefully we like these, otherwise... <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, I guess we should start with the American Blonde Ale. Right out of the can, like you would. It smells? It smells like olive juice. What? My nose it smells is a little up. like Serimi to me. I smell yeah, see? beer. <laughs> <laughs> and cheers. cheers. Let's hope it's not what I think it is. Hmm. Ooh. Nice and smooth. I'm not going to say bland or anything, but like drinkable, sessionable is what I'm getting out of this. You can call it mild pink, not bland. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better word for it. You know, actually, out of everything that this thing is lacking is carbonation. I wish it was a lot more, a uh, lot more uh, uh, sharper with the carbonation. That's true. It kind of seems see a little see flat because it is such a mild flavor, and it's. I mean, it's it's very carbonated, but it needs to be like Coke carbonation where it burns as you drink it. This is so drinkable. I gotta say. Yeah, I could probably polish off a six pack of these in about twenty minutes. Yeah. I mean, you see this beer in a can like this, it's a little bit mild, you think, well, maybe that's gonna get like, like a rainier or something, like a, with a horrible aftertaste, but no, yeah. this is like nice and smooth aftertaste, real crisp at the end there. Yeah. I'd give it a solid, you know, like a seven, <clears throat> 6.9 maybe? Yeah, well done, Kentucky. I used to think the only good things to come out of you were bourbon and nappy roots. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is, this stuff is really good. I could enjoy it a lot. Yes. This makes me think, hey, I'd actually want to check out that brewery, see what else they got. Mm. Yeah. So definitely we'll a solid what, eight. And we come from the does. land of hops, and this is no hops to speak of inside of this thing, so that's saying a lot from us. Maybe no, give what's... me more of this. Maybe Less that's hops. that's what's weird. There's not any hops in there. I'm like, <laughs> what is this? It's broken. <laughs> Let's jump into the nacho bait. Habanero Blonde Ale. So Not so I assume this is the same, but with <laughs> habaneros in it, which is very intriguing to me. Are you beeping there, Lofi? Yes. God you, damn it. That's what I do. Are you a professional? When it's out in the glass and, and you get the whole effervescence, it's, you get a, a lot of nice malts coming out. Wafting. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of Are you sure it's this caramel. or is it my fart? No, it's <laughs> definitely not your fart. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How curious that is. I like that. It's almost like a butteriness at first, and then like you get a just a little bit of the fruity flavor of that habanero. Is there any alcohol in this, or is this just pepper water? Okay. It's gotta be like a 4.8. Nacho bait habaneros. It shows how much I know about alcohol beverages. <laughs> so what's like a really little alcohol beverage like, this like you has get a no... shandy or something, and it's going to be like 3%. This, I, if a shandy, really? I could taste a shandy before I could taste this. What According to the beer advocates, it is 4.9%. Ooh! That one away! It just has no bite. It has no bite. It is the weirdest stuff I've ever tried. It's making my stomach a little warm, but my... my taste buds aren't really getting excited by this. Yeah, like, well, that's, that's what's weird. Hot. Like, you don't taste it, you... Kind of feel it in the back of the throat and a little bit in your belly. I get a little bit of taste, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, it's like the most uh, like smooth and subtle, sorry, uh, pepper Whatever. beer I've had. Like usually they're trying to punch you in the fucking face yeah, this with isn't that pepper. And here it's like it's, so, it's subtle but there. Mm. It's 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 like uh, it's an angelic touch on your tongue. Just pepper. No. Yeah. What was the? Was no. It's, I'm like Logan Gray Fox Stone. from Metal Gear Solid. You need to hurt me more. <laughs> hurt me more. It reminds me of like when I'll take like a Corona and put like cut a habit or a jalapeno and put it in there and just kind of that little bit of that burn that you get along with it. For me, it's at the point where I'd buy it again. Maybe a little bit more than where I'd buy it again. I'd go a 5.5 for this one because 
I need to get drunk off of this first. I can't just trust <laughs> what it tastes like right now. Well, he's like, got his priorities. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Let me go through a whole bottle of this, and then I'll get back to you with a real rating. But for right now, yeah, seriously. <laughs> so we each got one. Why not chug it? Uh, I want to say thanks to uh, Kentucky Brew Reviews. Yeah. Like I said, go check them out. Super cool dudes. R really laid back, you know? Beer reviews, what's, what's not to love? Yeah. Right there. That's life in a nutshell. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> haters! Yeah. A uh, bunch of haters over here. <laughs> All right, cheers. cheers. I'm chugging this. Lager. Cheers. This has been Fan Package. Thank you for watching. Hey, did you know we have a vlog channel? Go check it out in the link down below. Also, we got the Instagrams, the Facebook, the Twitters. We everywhere. Bitches? Shit. <laughs>